بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم فرنڈز اور سبسکرائبرز اس اس محمود شیخ اور فرم پاس فیو ویڈیوز ایم ورکنگ آنا ٹوٹوریل سیریز آف میکنگ آ بلوگ اپلیکیشن یوزنگ لارویل 5.4 ان میں لاسٹ ویڈیو آئیڈیا I completed the functionality of displaying blog post on our home page and in this video I'll be showing you how to uh, uh, display the date posted on date the way I have uh, done here and this list okay and view edit and delete okay so let's go to our editor and then down and then use site okay and style okay and then put posted on posted on then date need to use date based on the updated at field inside our database we need to display the posted date on here okay so let's do it m and then j y uh, y and h colon i okay and then comma string to time okay we need to convert uh, we need to use a function a string to time function to convert the date from string to time then we need to use dollar post of update at field okay now let's go back to our home page and refresh okay not this one this one okay refresh the page okay it's asking me to log in okay okay now i'm logged in uh, i think i have made some mistake Yeah, I'll call to undefined function date dat okay so let's make it as date and come back and save it uh, save and refresh okay now it's displaying posted date as uh, today's date and uh, let me just make it as float to left okay now just refresh the page okay This this much is fine. Okay, and now I need to. I want to display the uh, links here. View, delete, uh, view, update, and delete uh, uh, links at the end of each blog post. So for that, again, I need to go to our editor and then come here and take a ul class. Yes, have now fields, and then list. Sorry, rule equals to presentation, and then a. Okay, and then span. view okay now come to our uh, home page and refresh okay now you can see view is displaying uh, to each of our blog post but i want to display a little icon just beside to this link uh, an icon icon of i so all that icon will become from font awesome okay let me just show you in my website here in my application which i have done previously Okay, here, here you can see uh, uh, I have displayed uh, different icons for different links. These icons are coming from Font Awesome. Okay, to display this kind of icons, you need to download Font Awesome um, library. Okay, so for that you need to go to Google and then type uh, type in Font Awesome. Let us go back. Okay, okay, you need to download the uh, need to type download Font Awesome and then click on first link. Okay, and then you need to click on download. A package will get downloaded. Okay, once you click on this download uh, button, 
uh, the font also will get downloaded which is here i have kept it on my desktop and i have extracted it unzip it and the, after unzipping you will get this folder you need to take this folder copy this and you need to go to your go to your uh, project folder which is present inside uh, htdocs xamp and then htdocs and then click on the project name and then your public folder inside public folder you need to paste that font awesome folder okay now you need to come to your editor inside uh, editor you need to go to your app folder inside app uh, sorry not app resources folder inside resources folder you will get a folder called as layouts inside layouts you will get a file called as app.blade.php okay here you need to paste uh, you need to call that font or some uh, folder using this link okay now let's uh, uh, you need to link your font awesome CSS uh, inside your app dot blade dot PHP okay, now I will close this and I will use a class as FA FA I okay uh, let's come to our project and refresh Yeah, I have to log in. Okay, now you can see uh, an a little icon of I is displaying just beside to this link. Okay, so I just have to use some space here. Okay, now let's refresh. Okay, you will get the list of all these icons here. Here, okay, let's go back and type in. Font awesome icon list. Okay, here we will get all the icons. Okay. You can search for any of the icon here. I will search for uh, edit. Edit icon. Okay, this you can see there are different types of edit icons available. I will use this icon, pencil square O for edit. I will come here. I will just copy this li and I will paste twice. Make it as edit and then delete. Okay, what is that? A pencil. Square O pencil square O. Okay, now let's refresh the page. Okay, now it's displaying edit link and let's search for delete. Okay, and okay, I want to use this one trash. save it and again refresh okay you can see delete uh, trash is displaying just beside the link okay now all these links are appear uh, at the bottom of each of the post okay now we need to set uh, a route for this link so that when I click on this view link an extra page gets opened where uh, I can get the complete detail of this particular post okay so just before that i want to uh, limit the content of this particular post okay so for that um, i will come here post title and then um, post body this is the post body okay here it is i will use uh, sub str uh, function of php sub str and i will pass this body cut it out and this year and then i will starting point from 0 to 150 characters i want to display only the characters from 0 to 150 so let's go and refresh the page now okay you can see uh, only 150 characters are displaying now now if i click on view button uh, then 
a complete description along with the uh, the complete description of this post will be displayed in the next page okay so we will uh, now we will uh, set those urls uh, in our project okay so whenever i hover it uh, so let's do it first here is that link okay here okay okay url and as view okay save it and copy this to all the links okay so why i'm doing is this uh, this a tag represents this link here okay so whenever um, uh, we need to link the id of this particular post to this link okay we need to attach uh, the id of this particular post to this link so that whenever a user click on this link uh, the record from the database uh, gets uh, fetched out based on the particular id okay so we have that id here with us we just have to link that id okay view and okay so uh, let me just do that first okay i will use the our array a variable which holds uh, the entire data of the post and then i want the id okay so now uh, what i'm seeing here is uh, whenever user click on this link uh, uh, whenever user click on this link the particular id has to be attached to this link here whatever what i have done here okay see i want to redirect whenever user click on this link i want to redirect to view page and that uh, there i want to display uh, the id id of that particular post okay i want to fetch the uh, particular post based on the id so i will just edit this. edit okay copy paste here and then delete okay now you can see if i refresh and if i place my cursor on the link here at the end here uh, at this position you might see the id uh, link to that particular post okay see this is of id1 and this is of id2 and this post is of id3 okay similarly this link has the id of one of one which is the id of this post okay so now if i click on this link i will get nothing because we haven't created any view with a name called as view and if i click on this edit and i have, haven't created any uh, link um, with a name called as edit view uh, in our project so now we need to do that so for that we need to go to our project and then okay let's inside this create a new file save it as view.blade.php okay then right click on the same folder and then click on new file and save it edit.blade.php and then again okay only this two okay so now for view i'll just copy this entire thing and paste it here and change it to view post okay okay let's do this delete it let's first link these files let's h1 view post okay now copy this and paste it here and add it post okay and now we need to create uh, routes for these two uh, files for these two views inside our web.php okay we need to create two get routes so 
So I'll just copy this and paste it here. And our route will be view, and our function will also view. And I will create a function with a name called as view inside my post controller. Post controller. Okay, so I will go to post controller inside post controller. I will create a function public function post. Okay, and here I will receive the ID of that post dollar ID or let us say post ID and I will return this post ID here. Okay, now again we need to go to okay, let's first test this out. Okay, so now refresh and if I click on this view now okay get slash view okay i haven't pass id inside here okay okay if i now refresh okay cannot re declare post controller post okay okay so sorry this one is view okay so we have created a function with the name called as view okay fine now let's refresh okay now you can see id one is returning here now if i click on the uh, second post uh, view then it will return me two this is the post id okay now if i click on the third post view link now it will return me the third three which is the post id okay now we need to do it for the edit copy and paste here edit okay edit and now come to post controller copy this code and change it to edit okay now again let's go back refresh and click on this edit link we will get two which is the post id of this particular post okay so now what we will do uh, first we will work on the view we will whenever we click on this view link uh, a different a different page should get open where i can see the uh, all the categories all the categories that are present inside uh, our application and just beside to that categories uh, i can display each Post, okay, the exactly the same way I have done in my uh, project here. Okay, I will show you. Okay, so when I click on this uh, view link, I should get a page like this where I will listed down all the categories and just beside that I can display that uh, individual post. Okay, with likes, dislike, and comment functionality. Okay, so that we will do in my next video. Okay, so when I click on this. I should get a page where I can display the list of categories and a uh, single post. Okay, exactly the same way what I have done here. Okay, so I hope you like this video. I hope you got some useful information out of this video. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel, click on like button, share it with your friends, and I will see you guys in my next video where I'll be uh, doing, uh, where I'll be completing, uh, displaying a single post view. Okay, so thanks for watching.